Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Use Lancon, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crush can of brew from the fucking stove Yo, yo, oh shit, <laughs> where am I, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Lord Perfected Work, it is I, the invisible guy who you hear speaking, Lord Shoot X, I'm a polymath based out of Georgia, If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. Let me see. Ah, oh, there I go. Hey, y'all thought I died, didn't you? I ain't died, man. I'm still here. Just had some slight technical difficulties. But uh, as I was saying, if you haven't been to our website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. It's a lot of great things on there. Uh, I mean, I know I don't know what else you want me to tell you. It's a great fucking website. Just updated some things. I added the press kit on there now for all my artists, people out there who looking. If you want to put your boy in a showcase or something, man, voila, there you go. Everything you need for your promotional materials is on my website now. So, the name of this stream today is Eureka, Lord Shu the Shaman. Y'all remember that show, Eureka? I don't know. That's probably some 90s baby shit. It really came out in like the late 80s. Eureka's Castle. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that show. That show was mushrooms before I started taking them. It's probably why I take shrooms now. Because of that goddamn show. So why did I name this stream Eureka, Lord Shoe the Shaman? Well, for starters, today I was taking a shower and I was trying my hardest to align my energy with my true self today. So I make the intention when I take showers to cleanse myself of the past, cleanse myself of negative energies and positive energies that do not serve me well. Now I know y'all like, what does that mean, shoot? Well, water, as I said before, is a magical tool. You use it for spiritual reasons, spiritual means. Now, you can program your shower water. Just as, as I said before, you could program a cup of water. You could program the water in the shower with your thoughts, or you can talk out loud, which I did both. So, you know, it's just like doubles the power of it. But I'm taking a shower, you know, scrubbing and 
And then before I know it, after I cleanse myself and make myself an open channel, because when you cleanse yourself of these energies, you start to receive new energies to fill up the cup. It's like, you know, you poured out the, it's like uh, getting an oil change. There you go. It's like getting an oil change. The oil did the work, you know, making sure that everything moves smoothly in the engine. But then it gets dirty and you have to change the oil. So you got to drain it out and then you got to put new oil in it. So today I drained out all the past bullshit energy that I didn't really need or just just energy that was stagnant. I got rid of it today. And then after that, I brought in some new energy. I put some new oil in my engine. And as I'm putting new oil in the engine, things start to come to me about my journey. So I'm going to speak on it because that's what this channel is about is my healing is your healing. And the main thing that I want to uh, get across is that as I'm going through my process, what I'm going through may actually help you. So uh, where do I start? Okay, so I um, get out of the shower and I started to mix and master Shoe Pro LP, which guess what y'all? It's finished. The recordings are done, but I still have to mix and master it. So I started to mix and master Shoe Pro LP today. So it's just a matter of time now, y'all. It's just a matter of how long will the mix and master process take? I might have to go back in maybe a few times to fix up any vocals or add some little shit here and there. But for the most part, the shit is done. All the tracks are recorded. The ideas are laid out perfectly how I want them. Everything is fucking mystical, magical. So I, I was working on mixing the first couple songs. And then afterwards, I got to talking to 1111 about some important shit. Just kind of, when I when I talk to her, it's more like stream of conscious. See, I, I say things because, you know, eventually the answer will come out. Or the thing that I need to do, the things that I'm trying to do will come out through that stream of conscious. But it helps to, for me, seeing beautiful things or being around beautiful things helps me think better. I don't know why. Maybe it's a tourist thing, but it helps. It, it just fucking helps. So I remember going to the studio, having like a hundred bad bitches around me. You know, they do fucking doing their own thing, but all I gotta do is just look at them and I can write the hardest song or make the hardest beat or record the hardest vocals, whatever. So I took, once I realized that in my life, I said, okay, I need to keep, I need to keep sexy women around. I need to keep good food around. I need to keep fire ass weed around. Just all the things that help in the creation process and the healing process. So I'm doing that, you know, and I'm, I'm talking to her and, you know, we just vibing and she just kind of doing her thing. I'm doing my thing, but stream of conscious with her and things start flowing out. And I'm just like, OK, OK, I'm feeling this. OK, I'm, I'm having an understanding now. So I stopped what I was doing and I was like, all right, I need to. I need to start figuring out exactly things that are in a list that I make. So I have a workbook. Matter of fact, I'll show it to y'all. Fuck it. So this is my workbook. And this workbook is literally what my company is. And I update it as I'm creating and as I'm going about making this entity. Now, this company that I started in April on literally, I started this company. It started officially on 420. So it's called Shoe Loves Rebels LLC, which is why I named my website shoelovesrebels.com. I am Laura Shoe. And Shoe Loves Rebels LLC is the name of my company. So when I started my first company, which was Sky Lounge Recordings, it was a record label that turned into a multimedia agency. Now, when I started Shoe Loves Rebels, I really didn't know what the fuck it was going to be. I just knew that I didn't want it to be a replication of Sky Lounge recordings because with Sky Lounge, I got with a group of people and we made music together and we put the music out. You know, you know how 
shit like that goes. You just you make music and you put it out and you see how it does and then you, y'all come back together and y'all plan out the next project. Like this, a lot of people wasn't feeling this, but people was feeling that. So we need to create a project around these vibes and then add some newer vibes in it. But I make music how I want to make music. I don't really like doing music, you know, to get on the radio and all that shit. Like I'm doing music because it's healing for me and making my music for me and it heals me. That means eventually when I put it out to the public, the masses, people who listen to it will also be healed by it as well. You know, they there's uh, topics they might be able to relate to or, you know, this is just, you know, kind of like a general information type thing. So when I started Shoe Loves Rebels, I, I really didn't know what the fuck it was going to be. So each day as I'm going through the processes of running my company, I'm literally creating it as I'm going along. All I know is that it's a private infrastructure that deals with everything that I want to do. So it's not really a public, publicly, you know, expanded company that a whole bunch of people can subscribe to. Like you have to be chosen type shit. You have to be, okay, I like this person because they're true to what, they're a true consumer to what I'm producing. Not because I'm just trying to make a shit ton of money, but Sky Lounge was, that was my lesson with that. I learned, okay, I can make a shit ton of money doing what people want, but I wanted to do what I want. And also at the same time, to, to have a niche in the shit. So I'm just going through a bunch of different niches, trying to figure out what exactly am I trying to do with this company? What am I trying to create? What is my true vision? So I did a lot of studying, like between July, yeah, between July of last year and pretty much now, I just been studying a bunch of different topics of things that I'm genuinely interested in. Shit that I sat down and meditated on, actually had sit down and meditated on for a while and really just broke it down into a process of, okay, one through 10, these are the things that I like doing the most in life that if I do for free or whatever, I wouldn't be tripping. But if I want to produce money from it. So I took all these different things and then I found one common thing about all of them that would bring them all together. And First thing after that, once I figured out what my niche was, then I started to create projects, which finishing finishing projects and goals is great for when you have a company because it, it helps you to establish deadlines. And then when you start to get employees, new people into your company that actually work for you, you you're able to hold yourself accountable to those deadlines so it makes it easier for you to hold others accountable to those deadlines. So that's why I said in the beginning of this episode today that my healing is your healing. When I learn things, I put them out so that you can learn things and apply them to what you're doing. You don't have to have a company. This is You can apply this to your everyday life. So doing, you know, holding yourself accountable, that's something that you can do every day. If you believe in something or there's a certain type of code that you follow, which I have my own code that I follow, which everyone should, instead of following the laws of what, you know, what's placed for you and you don't truly subscribe to it. I mean, don't go around committing atrocities on people in the streets. Like, that's that's just terrible. But if you have something that you believe in, you know, you should definitely follow that shit to the T so that when people watching you on say for example y'all watching me y'all know i really live this shit it's not something that i'm just once i get off of once i get off of here the healing f- journey for doing these streams ends here like it continues into my everyday life my normal life like i'm not just on here talking about shadow work because it's something cool to talk about i'm actually doing shadow work i'm not just on here talking about uh moon cycles and shit like that i actually apply these things to my real life so Having your own like code is, that shit makes it easier for you to stay consistent and to hold yourself accountable to the things that you might wanna see come to fruition, which is why I'm even here today, because I'm holding myself accountable. I could've said, fuck streaming today. I could've really said that, but instead I held myself accountable. This is what I do. This is a part of my healing, which is also a part of y'all's healing. So this shit is important. Not just me talking about this shit, but these streams are important. 
You know what I'm saying? This is I'm putting something out here that can help a lot of people. So, the workbook basically helps me figure out exactly how I'm going to go about doing certain types of things. So, I like to put shit on paper first before I force myself to remember it. And that's just what it is. Like, I know certain people can... Let me fix this. Certain people can get on certain shit and be like, okay, I'm about to fucking remember this whole song and I'm not going to write it down or whatever. Like, not freestyling, but actually remembering the verse that they wrote, the, the hook that they wrote for the song, the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. Like, my mind, I want it to be clear. And if I'm having to go back, like, oh, it's bad enough I have to remember these songs when I go and perform them. That's already enough. The fact that I had to use my mind to create them, like, that's a part of the process, but I'm not trying to house a whole bunch of information in my fucking brain. So I write shit on paper anyways. Like, regardless of if I can do that shit. Like, writing shit down makes it physical. Writing down your thoughts makes it real. See, that's why I don't know why, like, all these rappers freestyling, they making their thoughts real, but at the same time, it, it would be faster to do it this way. You wouldn't even have to fucking... You wouldn't even have to fucking put a song out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a bunch of songs of just lyrics, and I never put them out, but they, my life has become them. So, basically, you know, keeping track of how exactly I'm creating my my business and following certain, following my code so that I'm able to continue my business. But also being aware enough that when things change, that I'm able to change with, with them. Because it's pretty hard to have something set in stone about how you want your business to be. And then out of nowhere, like, the whole shit changes or the world changes where your business is obsolete in the world. Which I had a moment like that today. Where I just, I'm trapped in old ways of doing things. But at the same time, I want to be... I want to be a, a more present entrepreneur. I don't want to be trapped in old times, even though I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm smart enough to be in these times and create certain things, but I don't want to be trapped in that shit because then after a while, it's just like, well, this, this method of how shit used to be, like that shit is gone now. So... How are you going to be able to transition out of that into how shit is going right now? Like, I don't want to be caught with my pants down in my business. Because when that shit happens, then you got to dissolve your business and start a new one. And that's just more money out of pocket. Like, the purpose of a business is to make profit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not deficits, but profit. <laughs> so, going through my personal journey right now with my business has open my eyes to a lot of shit about who I am as a person and how shamanism and entrepreneurship are the same thing. I mean, I wrote a book about this shit, so it's not like I don't know that this is what it is. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, you know, I'm just so, I, I've had the most enlightening experience. Like, I've been already fucking around with shamanism for a long time you know i started pretty much being a shaman as a child like i've already had my own like code of how to go about healing and traversing tiamat aka planet earth um uh being a self-made politician you know what i'm saying like these are all you know uh what do they call that shit man there's a term for it. Sovereignty. Being my own president. President. So, everything I do in my life, whatever knowledge I have, is towards that. Like, that's why I was talking about cryptocurrency a few, maybe a couple days ago. On the channel, I was talking about cryptocurrency and what it really is. And how people who don't know what it is are people who are subscribing to following their government or following whoever gives whoever brings them sovereignty see i bring myself sovereignty 
So I'm going to go out of my way to find how can I create my own paper money? How can I create my own garden? How can I create, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going out of my way to learn consistently on a daily basis how to create my own world and to make it accessible to everyone. So one of the biggest things that I, ha I have been studying since July of last year is world citizenship and just how important it is to be a world citizen. Now, everybody is a citizen of a country who watches this stream, whether it be an American, a European or whatever, African, whatever. You're, you're a part of some continent and you're a part of some nation within that continent. So the biggest problem that the world, well, the second biggest problem, because in my book, I'll get, matter of fact, I'll give y'all a little, little excerpt from the book. So the biggest problem in the world today is distraction, which I'm guilty of that because I have a severe case of probably bipolar disorder and ADHD, which is probably by just bipolar disorder. Because one minute I'm like, yeah, everything's cool. And the next minute I'm fucking going crazy. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's millions and millions. There's probably 40 something million people on planet earth that are bipolar as fuck. Especially people who run businesses. If you run a business, you feel my pain. Because you got to be fucking bipolar as fuck. You're in the future. You're in the past. You're in the fucking present. You're like 20 different people at one time. Because your past self and your present self and your future self all working together to create this new thing on earth that people need. That's a fucking product or is a fucking service that people really need on the fucking planet. And your mind is just fucking gone, bro. And people are like, oh, he's got 100 personalities. Nah, man. It's just I'm so in tune with myself that so many versions of myself exist already. It's just like light. To make white light, you got blue, purple, green, yellow, all the fucking light spectrums, okay? It takes all of that to make white light, okay? So with me, my fucking issue is right now how everyone could possibly be having these type of like issues but they're afraid to share them with others or they're afraid to come out and just be like, okay, there's something not clearly not wrong with me or there's something clearly wrong with me, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm too scared to get professional help, but I don't have nobody to talk to about it, especially, and I'm, I'm just gonna say it, in, prim in the primordial community, we don't talk about mental health at all. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't, we don't even dive into that shit. So, with this channel, I'm gonna just be upfront about everything that I'll be going through, man. Like creating a business is basically having bipolar disorder and fucking ADHD. Like you're potentially the one who, you're going into a different headspace that, other, that the average person wouldn't go into. And even if you're just uh, someone who feels like, okay, well, I can't relate to this. What does this have to do with me? Well, for starters, it's because the average person makes someone who has a, a mental disorder, like like I said, in a primordial community. I'll give you an example right here. So amongst people who look like me, we, we when somebody like uh, displays traits of having a mental disorder, I've seen people literally get ass whoopings like to try, like if somebody's retarded, and I'm, I don't mean in a way like, oh, you know, that, that guy's stupid or whatever. Like, no, nah, I mean like actually mentally retarded. There there will be like parents who will whoop their kids ass to make them like not retarded. They be like, nah, you're not gonna act weird like this. Like they say, like it's some weird shit or something. Like it's something that they can control and they're just acting out or something. So a way that you can help as a person who feels like they have a grasp on their mental state what you can do is people like me and people who have mental problems like myself, you know, come to, like have open arms, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge us because we're the ones that's actually trying to go out of our way to bring healing to the world and to help people out. So just uh, be respectable or, or respectful. Be respectful to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, People be bullying, like, people with Down syndrome and shit like that. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, 
And this is in primordial community. I, I can't speak for other communities because I'm, I'm, I only know what I know. But just go, having to go through it with myself, you know what I'm saying? Like going through, I've, I've had to go through my mental, uh, mental journey alone. Took a lot of spirit. You like the? I promise you, the only thing that ever helped me really do my spiritual journey for real. As far as dealing with my mental issues, and I've said this before on the channel, is meditation. I am I, I'm not just saying this because spiritual people talk about it all the time. This is real shit, y'all. If you got a business, if you got a dream, a goal, a vision, or any of that, any of these things, meditation is gonna make it clear for you to see the vision all the way through. It's gonna make it clear for you to see what the fuck is going on. Eureka! That's why I named this shit that because. When you take the time and sit with self, whether it be in the shower for five to ten minutes, however long it takes you to take a shower, whether it be in the bath, whether it be when you're taking a walk through fucking your neighborhood and you're just sitting in silence and you're not fucking asking yourself a bunch of questions and shit like that. My mind all day long is running hundreds of miles out. Well, it used to because honestly, meditation has helped calm that shit down. Like I used to get so overwhelmed by my thoughts. My anxiety would be fucking through the roof all the time to where I would feel sick to my stomach or I would just break down. Like the last time I had an anxiety attack, I actually cried like I bawled like a fucking baby, man. That was like the last real time I cried, but it wasn't a genuine cry. It was just me freaking the fuck out, like having a mental fucking breakdown. So going through that type of shit by yourself. That shit is unnecessary, man. Like, it's too many people in the world. But see, that's the thing. That type of shit does build mental fortitude. And if you don't know what fortitude is, it's strength. It builds mental strength for you to be able to have mental endurance to get through those moments where you have anxiety. Because all anxiety is is thinking too much about the future. Being too much in the future instead of being present with yourself. Meditation centers you into being present. If you're thinking about the past too much, meditation will center you and bring you back to the present. What's going on right now? What is happening right now? Okay, well, I can't control what happened in the past and I can't control the future to an extent. What you're doing right now becomes your future. That's why I'm saying meditation keeps you present, keeps you right in the center. So. People who feel like they got a good grasp on their mental state. If you got people around you that you feel like might have a mental disorder or having like small amounts of anxiety or, you know, somebody coming to you and they're like, man, I just don't feel right. I don't, I feel out of touch with reality or whatever the fuck. You can tell them about meditation. You can be there and listen. Just listen. Okay, you don't have to be fucking talking over each other and shit like that because at some point, that nigga's just gonna walk away. Because I, I done been there myself. When you're trying to explain something to somebody and they just swear they know the fucking answer. I, don't, I didn't talk to you to get an answer, motherfucker. I talked to you because I gotta get this shit out of my head or I'm gonna fucking go postal out this hoe. So you gotta understand, like, people with mental order, disorders and we talking to you, nine times out of ten, we're just trying to vent. Because... If you got anxiety, your mind is running fucking hundreds of thousands of miles all day long with thoughts, and you're just trying to grasp them. Now, if you don't know shit about meditation, imagine trying to fucking... It's like trying to grasp electricity, bro. You spend it all day, and you just start getting frustrated. Like, fuck, I can't catch this shit. Fuck. All day long, you just fucking trying to catch electricity. Knowing damn well your name ain't Sonic the Hedgehog. Let it go, bro. But it's hard to let it go because... The world around you was like, you got to be this way. You got to do shit like this. And then the people who got a grasp on their mental state, they, they'll be like, man, you just got to suck it up, bro. It's all right, man. You get through this. But they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's not nothing, you know, it's not something to blame them about. It's just communication, misunderstanding. That's why there, there has to be communication. You have to listen. If, if the people watching this channel have a grasp on their mental state and they want to help somebody just listen okay just listen like you don't have to say shit matter of fact if you can hug that person if they if 
Ask them first. Can I give you a hug? All right. Once you get consent, hug that person and listen. If it's your significant other, can I kiss you? Can I make out with you? Once you get the consent, make out with the person and listen. Okay? Because before you know it, they going to forget about all that shit that was badgering them down. Hell. I... I'm telling y'all, the easiest way for real is like, just listening. That's it. And I'm going to keep it that simple. I ain't even going to keep going into this. But yeah, starting a business can overwhelm anybody. Hell, going to college can overwhelm anybody. Living life as you see fit, living your truth can overwhelm anybody. Especially when you're still learning yourself and you're still trying to understand yourself. And you haven't really figured out who you are as a person yet. You haven't done all your shadow work. And so everything seems new every day. And as more experiences come in, shit feels so brand new that you're just like, damn, this shit kind of getting overwhelming too. You can be overwhelmed by new shit, old shit, present shit. Like all that shit can eventually wear you down. And then you're just like, I want to die. Like, I'm telling you, starting a business is not for the faint of heart. So imagine us with mental disorders being some of the greatest people. Like, I'll take one of my favorite people that, um, one this these this is a person who gives me the the skills to go like not even the skills, but gives me the faith to keep going. It keeps my faith in a higher power. Is Jay Dilla. He is one of the people who I look up to as far as a creator. Matter of fact, let me let me put this man's name in the chat. I'm pretty sure I did this before, but I'm going to do it again. So his legacy will live on because Jay Dilla is, if not the greatest producer alive, one of the greatest producers, hip-hop producers alive. And honestly, producer. This man, is he's a fucking genius. Like, I talk about him like he's still alive, but Jay Dilla's a fucking genius. But... I look up to this man because this dude faced death and literally did some of his greatest works on his deathbed, okay? To be able to understand death on a level of knowing that I'm about to move into my next greatest adventure. Like, this man... Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all some dope shit for all my hip-hop heads who watch this channel. So, in hip-hop, we got... There's elements of hip hop. Like hip hop is shamanism also. So there's codes in hip hop. You got MCing, DJing, tagging, uh, uh, b boying, b boying, and b girling, and MCing, DJing, tagging, b boying, and there's something else. There's a fifth element. How do I know the, not know this fifth element, bro? Hey, I'm sorry for the, for the kings of hip hop who knowledge yourself. Hey, that might be it too. Knowledge yourself. Facts. Knowledge yourself is an element in hip hop. Like consciousness is what hip hop was created from. You know, in the beginning, we started fucking talking about the streets. Like that's literally like I don't know if y'all remember the message. Don't push or don't put push me cause I'm close to the edge I'm trying not to lose my head like that whole song is about him just walking around the hood and just seeing shit he literally talked about homeless people or a crackhead pissing in the alleyway or some shit like that I haven't listened to that song in a long time but that's probably one of my favorite hip hop songs I'm pretty sure I said this on this channel before but yeah this this shit like the hardest shit that Jay Dilla did with hip hop would probably be on his Donuts album, where he took a sample of Jada Kiss, which is a rapper, and I'll type Jada Kiss name in here so y'all know about Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss is a part of a really awesome rap group called The Locks. Him, Styles P. Oh damn, I don't remember the third nigga. Uh, Sheik Louch. I was about to say, bro. I'm about to get my damn hip-hop car revoked. See, 
I be in my own world sometimes, y'all. And I used to know everything about hip hop. Like you couldn't tell me shit, boy. I was a hip hop motherfucking head. Like fucking Egyptian lover and fucking Arabian prince. Man, get the fuck out of here. All right. So, anyways, he took a sample of Jada Kiss, right? Uh, Jada Kiss saying it's that real, but uh, he took a turntable, right? And he put that same record on there and he scratched it back and forth and it, it sounds like it's death real. And he's dying on his deathbed, making this beat. Make it like, bruh. I should, matter of fact, before, the, before this stream is over, I'll probably, matter of fact, just listen to Donuts by Jay Dillon. Y'all will know what I'm talking about. That song is gonna come on. Matter of fact, the name of the fucking beat is Stop by Jay Dilla. On the Donuts album. Listen to that song and tell me that song. That shit gives you chills once you figure out this man was dying, literally making this fucking tape. But I look up to this man because, one, he told me to keep going. Never stop. If you, if you believe in the art and you making the art, it's, it's a fire-ass quote. That um, I read on this site called Crystal Reflections that I'll be using sometime. So, um, certain cards, certain tarot cards will tell you a message. And one of the messages that the cards told me was that now is the time, if you are an artist, now is the time to become the art. So if you're a singer, become the song. If you're a painter, become the painting. That's what that's what Jay Dilla taught me. This nigga died making music, bro. Okay? This man is he is the art. He is he is producing. He is hip hop. He became that shit. Like, bro. It pisses me off this nigga is not still alive, bro. Straight up. Because there will never be another another producer. The closest thing to that nigga is Kanye West right now. That, that became the song. That became the art. This nigga Kanye West doing shit he putting his life on the line for, bro. And he knows it. But anyway. It's just certain shit that that putting yourself in alignment with with your business and knowing your true self and understanding that shit gonna be all right every day is another it, another day alive is another chance for you to understand how you can make yourself a better entrepreneur a better shaman a better family member whatever you're focusing on becoming that you want to work on if you are alive today, you have been given another chance to do that shit. So every fucking moment you got, you got to become the song. You got to become the painting. You got to become whatever the fuck. If you a mechanic, you got to become the car, baby. Become that shit. If you, if you got a business, be, be that, become that fucking product. Become that fucking service. Be of service to the humans, to the primordials, whatever the fuck you be of service to these people. Live that shit. That's all entrepreneurship is about. It's becoming that shit. See, people go into starting a business only to get money. That shit will never succeed. And when it does, it don't never succeed. You see how fast motherfuckers be willing to march up into a business and protest that shit because niggas don't give a fuck or a, a, they culture getting exploited? Like, come on, man. This ain't, this is everyday life, man. And I'm not gonna sit here and cap and say y'all got one chance to do this shit. You got a million chances. But I'm sure you wanna become what everybody looks up in the sky and worships, right? At some point. You live, you live your life to the fucking fullest, bro. And you're going to become a fucking ascended master. You're going to become a Jesus. You're going to become Saint Germain. You're going to become 
Saint Valentine, Santa Claus. These these are all people who live their fucking life to the fullest of what they they became the fucking word. You understand? They became the word. A, a fucking saint is someone who basically on the level of Jesus. That's all Jesus was. Somebody who became the word. He he didn't become it. He said, I am the word. He said, I am the word. See, it's it's a different type of mindset when you start to become that shit, man. Because now what the world says outside of you does not matter. Once you fucking align with who you who you truly believe you are, and you getting all the clear indicators that this is what you're supposed to be doing, this is who you're supposed to be. Nothing else fucking matters. You gotta stand ten toes down in that shit and keep going, and keep showing people who you who you are and what you made of and what really life is about and how you can help somebody help them realize what their life is about. Cause this game. Is independent, independent to the player. That's why they always say, don't hate the player, hate the game, man. The game made it so we all can fucking play this shit. Our own special way. Granted, it's the same. We on the in this fucking realm, right? All the same shit is for everybody. But look at the world around us. The guy across the street is a pastor. The guy who lives in here is a doctor. The guy who lives over there is a fucking military person. A general or a captain or whatever the fuck. But we all live in the same neighborhood. Your neighborhood shows you just how how far up in becoming what you truly are is. Because you start to see those type of people around you. Even though they might have a different occupation, but they became that shit. They, their I am, that mantra tapped into them easily. I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. I am a singer. I am a producer. It's not about, oh, I got to grind, get it out the mud, blah, blah, blah. No. Yeah, that shit automatically happens when you become that shit. Because you start to realize that No, it's not about the actions I take It's about how I'm already becoming this And the shit that happens on the way to that That shit, is a, that shit be, becomes irrelevant Because you're so You are that shit You're dancing with that shit And you're just so caught up And lost in dancing with that shit That all the little things that you had to do To become that shit You don't even notice it You're just doing what, what it takes to become that shit See, I'm literally going through that now by doing these streams. See, in the beginning, I was just like, oh, man, I got to do these streams. But this shit is nothing to me. And I don't mean it's nothing like, oh, I don't care about this. But doing this, I, I just listen, y'all. I don't fucking write no scripts to this shit. I don't never fucking know what I'm going to talk about when I do these shits. I just know I'm supposed to come on here on Lord of Perfected Work. Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. And I'm supposed to help heal people. And I got to have a faith in myself. And I got to become this shit. See, I'm becoming. Nah, I am Lord Shoe X. It's not about, oh, I got to do all this to become Lord Shoe X. I already am this nigga. Now, what happens on the way up to that point? Oh, damn, I didn't even realize it. Just like after I get off this stream... I forget I even do this shit. I start doing my normal life shit. This is just a part of my day. Not saying that y'all not important, but y'all are a part of my day, a part of my life. So if anything, I'm saying you are important. See, I spend a lot of time. I put my heart and soul into these fucking things that I do on a daily basis. I put my intentions to raise awareness, to send positive energy to you and yours and the world. I do this every time I exist. So it's not even about fucking doing videos no more. I exist, therefore I am. Every day I'm working towards staying in that energy because it's easy to be distracted. Like I said in my book, the biggest fucking problem we have on this planet is goddamn distractions. How do you heal distractions, Lord X? Focus. 
Well, how do you focus, Lord, Lord X? You got to decompartmentalize. You got to meditate. You got to lose what you don't need. You got to take a look at all the things around you and see, is this uplifting me or is this bringing me down? Because focus is focus is uh, personalized to you. If you choose to focus on something, even though you know it's detrimental, then um, that's your fault, homie. <laughs> when you know that you should be putting your focus towards things that matter, but you don't, you, there's no one else you can blame. But see, people like to blame others for shit that they're doing. Damn, I can't focus. I mean, look, you can be ass naked, okay? You can be ass motherfucking naked. If I know my purpose, you being ass naked, that's a bonus. Matter of fact, I want you to be ass naked while I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing. Because that's just going to help me out. Because it's not a distraction. That's another piece of what I'm doing to keep me focused. <laughs> okay. I want to keep her around so she can stay ass naked, man. I need to fucking stay on my shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's why I say focus is personalized to the user. The game. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. You gotta use this shit for how you can. Eureka! Become a shaman today. <laughs> Create your own method to living today. Create your own laws today. Granted, there's laws on this on this realm, okay? And to an extent, we have to follow them in order for us to not get fucking locked up. End up in jail, because, you know, you can't just go around killing people. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't fucking, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and in no way am I saying on this channel that uh, people should be killing people. But... If you feel like that's a part of your path, man, then obviously you're adding to the balance because there's a yin and there's a yang. And honestly, yin energy is chaos or divine feminine energy and yang is male energy or divine masculine energy, which is order. See, people have gotten in their minds that yin and yang, oh, separate, oh, I gotta pick one or the other. I don't know if you ever looked at the symbol, but on the yin yang symbol, there's little dots. There's a white dot in the black area and there's a black dot in the white area. Okay? I, I let you put two and two together. You know, it's not fucking it doesn't take a genius to figure out that there's a little bit in both. There's there's a little bit of each other in both. You know what I'm saying? See, this is the gray channel you watch. You're watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. You know, share this stream with friends, family members, people who you feel this will help. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you watching the great channel. Like, I'm never going to sit here and tell you that bad is bad and good is good because I don't believe in those words personally what I believe in is what is if you're supposed to be doing if you're supposed to be doing something then go do it man have that but no cause and effect okay I always say this at the end of the fucking shit cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect you know every time I do these streams people call me knowing I have a stream schedule they're not they're not gonna stop either like, they're going to send me a message. Bro, hit me up. Nigga, I'm on here every day. If you want to hit me up, get on the stream, bro. Put it in the chat. Catch me on the fucking chat. And nine times out of ten, I can almost guarantee you, if I call this guy back, he's not going to be talking about shit. That's why you have to choose what you focus on, okay? I'm not telling you what to do, though. All I'm doing is offering you advice that I feel would help you in your journey, your ascension journey, your healing journey, whatever. But I can't tell you what to do, man. All I can do is just tell you what is and what is. People are always going to try to distract you, especially when you on the path so well that you're not fucking with them no more. <laughs> Straight up. It's just what it is. But 
it's not a means to be rude to people. It's not a means for you to feel like you're superior to somebody. The way I look at it is we all together in this world, right? And we all got to find our way. And we all, and you know, by finding our way, I mean, we got to find our way of how we want to do our thing. Y'all, we have to work together because now is the time where the people under us, the children, the young people under us now, because, you know, my generation is getting older. We, we in our thirties now. So it's getting to a point where what we're doing is what, what we're doing and what we are paving the way for it will affect these ones that's coming after us and, and the ones that's coming after them. So it's very, very imperative and important that everybody who has young people around them start to step into their role. Even if you, you might still be figuring shit out. As long as you stand 10 toes down in yourself and your personality and being who you are and not being afraid to express yourself, the people around you will see that. The young people will see that. And it gives them confidence. It gives them hope. Hope. And it gives them um, strength to do it themselves. See, being yourself brings fortitude. So never be afraid to be yourself. That's what the world wants, really. That's what the world wants for you. That's what Mother Earth wants for you, is to be yourself. Because all, all she can do is be herself. You know what I'm saying? She She's going to make sure that you're taken care of by still existing so that you can eat from her. So that you can breathe the air that she creates for you. So always, always, always stay 10 toes down in who you are. So that you can always, always motherfucking show the world who you really are. Start your business. Do what you gotta do to make that shit successful for yourself though. See, you make you start a business because you feel like something's missing in your life that you feel could potentially help others. That's all a business is. Man, I really wish I had this product. Oh shit, I can create this product. I can sell this product so that I can help other people like I help myself. Oh shit, this service. I can do this service. I'm about to sell this service so that I can help myself and other people because this th there was no one doing this before I was doing it. That's all being an entrepreneur is. That's all being a shaman is. I have this perspective of the world. Oh shit, this perspective helped heal me. I'm gonna use this perspective and show it to other people so that they can heal themselves with this perspective. That's all That's all life is about. It's taking the shit that you experience. You don't even have to put it on the world stage. Write a book. Make a song about the shit. Draw a painting that invokes the feeling of healing just from looking at the shit. There's so many ways to express. That's why we are gods. We've given the ability to do the same thing that God does. When we pray to higher power for the healing, God, please help me, please. I'm going through hard times. I don't know if, shit gonna, if I'm gonna make it through. Just give me the strength to, to make it through. When you doing that, all you doing is aligning yourself with the energy to create. Now, creation doesn't have to be drawing a picture. Creation comes in many forms. When you make a person, when you make a child, you create so many things. It just takes you clearing out the bullshit and focusing and listening to that, that little baby voice. What is the whisper telling you today? After you done cleared the bullshit out and you done meditated and you done, you done calmed your thoughts. Because it's after the meditation that the magic really happens. Everybody be expecting to hear fucking Jesus Christ talking to them when they meditate. Nah, son, it don't work like that. Meditation is, if you if your thoughts, if you already, like I said, I have a mental disorder. Well, it feels like it. I, I haven't never been professionally diagnosed, but as as a healing of a healer of myself, I feel as if there's certain things in my mind don't that doesn't work like other people's does that I feel is can be detrimental, but I'm using it to my advantage. So if you already got a grasp on your thoughts and already you feel like, man, my, I feel like my mind's racing sometimes. Meditation will take that shit out and calm it down 
because you're not supposed to be thinking about anything when you meditate. All you're doing is just breathing and relaxing your body, helping the blood flow. Because when you breathe deep, blood flow is better. And then you start to hear the other dimensions of yourself when you're breathing. See, that's the secret. You're connecting with the dimensions of yourself when you meditate through breath because of the, the other dimension of blood and mucus. That's, that's another dimension of you is the liquid version of you. Because you got an air version of you too. But I ain't going to get too deep today, y'all. We're just going to keep it here. Keep it at this level. But when you meditate, you're literally tapping into the dimensions of yourself, okay? Helping yourself to remember yourself. The version of you before, the version of you now, and the version of you after. They all exist at one time, okay? So that's all you're supposed to be focusing on is just breathing so that your body can do what it's supposed to do and then you can hear and you can feel and the sense is heightened when you come out of that meditation and then you start to do actions critical thinking or whatever you're trying to set the intention for after the meditation that's when the magic starts to happen but you got to understand first what is it that i'm going into this for if I'm going into meditation just to get an answer, I'm not going to get the answer. If I'm going into meditation to clear my thoughts so that I can receive an answer, then you winning. But, you know, little shit like that. These are just little tools that you can use, like uh, automatic writing where you just write and you don't have any kind of like structure. You're just writing down the first shit that comes into your head. That is a form of meditation. Like you're clearing this out. That's what we want to do. We want to clear this out so that new shit can keep coming into it. Because once it's cleared out, okay, cool. Now I can uh, make something new. Because you want to always be making something new. You always want to be creating something new. Putting it out to the world for that reason. See, I'm bad about making music and stretching projects out for fucking years. It'll always take me three to five years to make a fucking project. See, if I if I acted on my projects immediately, I would probably have so many albums. I would have hundreds of albums. And I already have like, I think 30 plus projects now. So, just imagine like I'm, I'm fucking a, a powerhouse if I just like take shit out of my head, which is why I do these streams. To take shit out of my head. Eureka! That's why I always say that. <laughs> so y'all understand where I'm coming from. Eureka! I figured it out. But now, there's more to learn. Because now that I got rid of this old information, now it's time to take on new information. See, right now, I don't only think about one thing. Can't tell you what it is, because <laughs> I don't want y'all to look at every different right now. Maybe later on, we'll have a talk about Tantra and fucking sexual magic and, you know, stuff like that. But for right now, we just going to keep it funky. I'm Lord Shoe X, and you just got done watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I appreciate everybody coming and watching the channel today. Y'all know I love y'all from the bottom of my soul. Everything I do as far as creating is for y'all. So never forget that. Uh, if you like my outfit today, it's uh, personally created by myself. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> this cloak is uh, kind of personalized, though. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna drop. I ain't gonna say too much yet, but I'll say this: soon come, y'all. Soon come. I'm always working on creating new things. Okay. But thanks for watching the channel. I hope what I said today was helpful. If you want to hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, just go to my website. All of that shit is on there. Just go visit the website, shoelovesrebels.com. It's right here, y'all. Visit the website. All my everything is on there, okay? Everything about Lord Shoe X is on there. My life story, all that shit. At least the parts that matter. So check it out. Again, much love to everybody. I send blessings to you and your family in the world. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Yeah.
Yeah. The bronies everywhere I see. I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go. Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316. I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove. See you later.